What's up YouTube, it's your boy Quicksand tapping in for episode 41 of Mindset Monday and today I'm going to encourage you to not wait for that perfect timing. But before we get into it, the one thing that I do ask of you is that if you find any type of value in the context of this video, that you share it with someone who can also benefit. I post a mindset video every Monday, so subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another drop. Tap in. When you wait for the perfect timing, you wait forever. Meaning the perfect timing is never there. It's not a real thing. What really needs to occur, you know, for any individual is that you're consistently persistent and you're consistent on a daily basis with how hard you work and how hard you're willing to learn. And so when you do these things uh, simultaneously on a consistent basis over a long period of time, what happens is that perfect timing comes to you and you don't have to go and search for it. Because what happens is naturally as humans, we tend to be in our shells. And when we're in our shell, we are comfortable and we're willing to stay within our shell because we're too afraid of what can happen if we step out of that shell and we get out of our comfort zone, right? We may come up with some failures. We may be embarrassed. We may uh, not get the result that we are looking for. Right? So this is why people look for that perfect timing. And when you look for the perfect timing, again, you're going to be waiting a long time because that perfect timing can come at any time. It can be in this moment now. It can be five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour uh, from now or tomorrow or the next day. Right. And so you just have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So that way, when that opportunity comes, you're more than prepared and you're more than ready to be able to conquer it and to find the success that you're looking for. But even then, you prepare, you work hard on a consistent basis, and then that perfect timing comes to you, then you may still be in a position where you fail and you find that you're not successful and you may feel you know, that embarrassment or that, um, that like, why did I even step out of my shell type of mindset. That's where you may be thinking. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be worth it to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So that way, when that opportunity comes, you know that you put in enough work and you put everything forth and you weren't afraid to make any mistakes and, and to fail. And for you to, to know that you put in all that work and you still failed is a great feeling because you know that the work is working. That opportunity came to you. It wasn't your timing at that moment. And you know that you're going to learn from this moment learn from you know some lessons on how to improve how to adjust and then when the perfect timing comes again to you and the opportunity is presenting itself then you're going to go out and you're going to give it even more of your energy more of your focus more of that discipline that you put forth and then you're going to find that you may find the success that you wanted this entire time and that other opportunity wasn't it but all this comes together when you don't wait for that perfect timing uh, Nipsey Hussle has a song called Perfect Timing, and he says, sometimes I feel like perfect timing feels like I'm too late, right? Meaning he was waiting for that perfect opportunity, and it, it, it arose, it came to him, the perfect opportunity, but he feels like, man, this is the opportunity that I was waiting for, like I could have got this done a long time ago. If I would have been consistent, I would have got out of my comfort zone, out of my shell. This opportunity presented itself a while back but I waited till it was perfect timing. And now I feel like I'm too late. It feels like this isn't really the opportunity for me in this moment. And that happens, but it's, it's that realization that needs to occur for you and for any other person. Everyone has a different, a different time in which an opportunity presents itself. And if you have that, that chance to have it early, you know, in your life, then Go ahead and take that, take that risk, take that jump and, and just really trust yourself to, you know, leap off of that cliff of faith and your wings are going to spread and you're going to fly. You're all of a sudden going to be like, man, that's not even that difficult uh, to do what I'm doing now. Like, it, yes, there was fear in my head that I may fail, that I may not be, you know, happy as a result, but I tried it, I did it and actually it worked for me or I tried, I did it. And it didn't work out, but it's okay because I know that I put in the work and I was getting uncomfortable. And so this is, uh, goal goes back to perfect timing. So don't wait for that perfect timing. Go out and get it when you want it. And it's easier said than done, yes, but 
start slow, start with small steps, start with small goals, and look to achieve those on a weekly, uh, monthly, or even like yearly plans, right? Set those goals for yourself so that way you're constantly, uh, consistently, uh, you know, achieving something. Even something as small as something I want to start doing more is reading. And I've talked about this uh, off and on with a few of the Mindset Mondays where, you know, sometimes I read a good amount of books and, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot from them. And then sometimes I just stop reading because I feel like I've learned more than I need. And really what it can be is like I can learn on a daily basis. So two to five pages or one to five pages every day is not bad. I mean, you learn, you know, five new pages of knowledge and that's something that you can take with you teach other people, just take it in for yourself, write it down, and find different ways for you to learn more from that, from those specific pages. And those are small steps in the right direction. So step out of your comfort zone, don't wait for that perfect time, and go out and get it when you want it, and consistently work hard on a daily basis. Thank you all for watching this video. I'm gonna get out of here. I appreciate you all. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I wanna get this video out in the algorithm. I want more eyes, more ears to be listening and seeing this video. So thank you all if you are watching this and you do appreciate it. Share it with someone who you know can benefit and I'll see you all in the next one. Tap out.